three weeks ago, the guy sitting next to me, uh, ah, let's just forget about it. Let's put that in the past. Thank you. Two weeks ago, about this time. guy sitting next to me, Mike Brenner, went 4-0 and against the spread for free in our videos here at SBR Videos last week. Guy went two and one. He lost on a teaser, but he's on quite a roll. He's uh, getting, you know, some followers on, on on YouTube. Haters are coming, and when the haters come, that's when you know, you know, you're starting to build some momentum. Sure. This week, NFL Week Five, he's got two more picks with us, and the second game he's picked is uh, an interesting one, right? The Pats at Dallas. Now we know the situation here, right? The Pats are off the bye with Tom Brady, looking awesome. Dallas. All kinds of injury problems and Brandon Whedon at quarterback. So it's understandable why the Pats are such a massive favorite. The market seems to be a little bit um, uh, all over the map, though, with this line. Right now, before this video, I saw eight, eight and a half, nine, or nine and a half on this game. I even saw 10 at Bodog. So that's a, that indicates a very, very uncertain market here. And even the total is uncertain. The total's 49 and a half. The Greek has a lean to 49 yeah, to the so under. Yeah. Heritage has 50. So both those books are sharp. Yeah, I respect their opinions. Even on the total, sharp books have opposite leans. So a very confusing game for a lot of people. Mike Brenner uh, likes this uh, likes this game, and I know what he likes. He likes the he like he loves the Pats. But I'm telling you, you know, just because I know what he likes in this game doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad play. Although with other people that I do calls with, it does. Mike Brenner, tell us why you love the Pats. Here. Okay. Well, first of all, great to be back with you, Pete. It is. It's, it's nice to spend some time with you. Uh, I, I love this play, and I'm not jumping on a bandwagon. I'm not jumping on the public's opinion and so forth. Um, I spoke about this uh, a couple weeks ago, and it's just proven itself to be true. Uh, Tom Brady is on a mission. Uh, this team is clicking on all cylinders. And when you give Bill Belichick a week off, a bye week right. to prepare for anybody, right. anybody, all right, it's, it's going to be dangerous whether they're on the road or at home. Uh, you touched on some points with Dallas. Yes, the injuries are there. Uh, there's just that factor of there's no leadership because when Des Bryant and Romo go down at the same time, plus you lose uh, DeMarcus Murray last year, okay? So what do, you, what do you do? Who's stepping up? Who's filling in the gaps? And they're just not there yet. Uh, uh, Brandon Whedon, uh, the guy didn't do a whole lot in Cleveland. I think it was like 3-16 and 16 as a starter. I may be wrong, but uh, I think I'm, I might be right there. And he does not impress me. I think you're going to soon see something out of, an SOS out of a desperate call to get another quarterback in there. But the reason I love the first half this week with the Patriots, and again, I'm about return on investment. I'm about results. And when I beat the book, I don't care if it's by a side, uh, a first half, a second half, whatever it may be. A win is a win against the bookie and put the money where it belongs in my pocket and my client's pocket. Exactly. So first half, Tom Brady comes out. He is on that mission. There's nothing that's going to slow that down. So that's where I think the value is. It's minus four and a half could be four depending on where you're going. Uh, I like it. I, I think at least a touchdown if not two. Uh, they're going to come out early and, and I said it a couple weeks ago I thought they would take uh, you know the foot off the uh, off the gas pedal in the second half but they didn't. They're almost like the Oregon of college football a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll run it up and they'll just pound it down your throat because uh, Brady doesn't care what people think about right. him and uh, nor does Belichick and this team is solid. They're well coached and this is a winner, first half minus four or four and a half. And I love this play, Pete. All right. If I had something to substantive to say uh, against you, I would say it, but I don't really have anything. I think you got, yeah, listen, good luck. I hope you have another two winners. Mike Brenner, thanks so much. We'll be back next week for NFL Week 6. All right. Thank you, Pete.